Hey yo, what's up everybody? Home sir, and we're back with some more Bloodborne Arcane build. And yeah, today we're gonna be taking on the next part, uh, which is gonna be the Healing Church Workshop, I believe this is called. There's a guy with the little minigun in here, so I'm gonna check out this guy. Always drops silver bullets, so if you wanna farm that, you can go ahead and do that. Um, we got another rune right here. It's gonna give us more, like, if you equip that, you'll have more, what you call it? Blood vials. You can carry more blood vials, more like. There you go, healing church workshop. We're here. Watch out because there's an ambush on the right. I mean, on the left. Can you tell from your left or right? I can now. Alright, and make sure you don't rush in there because there's a sniper right there. The nitrous, loving it. Ouch. Oh, shit. Okay, let's bring the fight outside. I'm gonna pop off a heal here just in case because I don't want to. Accidentally die. Where's the other guy? Oh, there he is. Snipe. Snipe. Alright. You're dead. Silver bullets. Thank you very much. Now I'm just. I just need some healing items, which. One of the big guys upstairs should be giving us that. So. Yeah. Blood tinge gemstone. This gemstone. Where the heck is it? Uh, blood attack up. So it's good for um, blood tinge builds. Buff our tinnitus. And then we'll go in and try to finish this guy off. This thing is. Fucking OP right now. It's a big guy. I'm gonna try to parry him. There we go. Oh, where's my attack? I think there's a helicopter that's like passing by on top. I don't know if it got caught in the mic. If it did, you guys will hear it. Um, there's gonna be two snipers. One's gonna be like sitting down. This guy hits the hardest, I think. So try to take him out quickly. Obviously, like use your tinnitus, uh buffed up mode so you can take him out quickly. Otherwise, you'll probably take a few hit swing. But be careful, don't lock onto this guy, because if he falls, you'll fall like straight down and die. So be aware of that. And yes, I did see that pickup down there. <laughs> I'll go back down and pick it up. I think at least I think it's a pickup. Or it might just be the sun like reflecting off of the little water stains. And then on the other side, there's more stuff to get. You can see the cathedral wall right there. Never actually took the time to look at it. But that is the, like, that's like the main cathedral wall right there. You gotta, and the. Uh, the shortcut that we were talking about in the last episode it was it's right there above my character's head like it opens up that little path but once we clear this area we're gonna end up like jumping out right there and now we can open up a path over here or is it this side or that side I don't know and then it'll lead over there so yeah no point in wasting like 10,000 blood echoes just to get that uh, shortcut item which we can just, you know, get by without having to uh, spend 
spend that much uh, blood I can. Do watch out for the flamethrower, guys. Because that will sap your health, like, within seconds. Alright. And the main reason why we came up here, it's for the Radiant Sword Hunter badge. So with this, we can now get um, Ludwig's Holy, uh, yeah, Holy Blade. Uh, is that that? That's the regular one, I think. It's, or is, yeah, 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 that's the regular one. I always get the names kind of mixed up. Uh, the one again, the DLC, it's like, I think it's like the same version, but it has magic. Or it has arcane, my bad. Uh, it's called the Moonlight, Moonlight Blade, I think. Or Moonblade, Some, something with the moon. Uh, <laughs> this door is locked, this is an optional area for later on, so we'll come back. Um, but yeah, so my plan is just, once we unlock the DLC area, we'll go straight in there and then get the sword and maybe take on a DLC area or maybe just go back to it later because enemies there, I believe it's like, it's the hardest enemy to deal with uh, aside from Chalice Dungeons. Well, Chalice Dungeons is not like, it's not insanely difficult, but it's just that there's a specific Chalice Dungeon that cuts your health in like, in half or something like that. Is it half? I think it's half. So, yeah, that's probably the hardest area in the game. But other than that, like, if you're just talking about base game, I think, um... Shit. I think... DLC, it's, um... DLC is probably the hardest. Twin Bloodstone Shards. And thank you, Pounce, for letting me know what these things are called. It's the Imps. So... Yeah, <laughs> thank you for a little tip there. Because I don't even know, like, I don't know what enemies are called anymore. I just kind of, like, make up their names as I, as I run through this, this game. Actually, in the original game, I don't, like, in the original walkthrough that I made, I don't even know what they're called. It's like, this is the beast thing. That's, like, the little crystal lizard beast thing. Don't die, please. Yep. Okay. Kinda need to get down here, you know? Yep, there's no cat's ring or anything to reduce fall damage in Bloodborne. As far as I know, um, there's... There's nothing that can uh, prevent you from, like, taking fall damage. Abandoned old workshop. It's so trippy. This is... The Hunter's Dream. It's either here or that building is supposed to be where German, where you fight German. Um, but since this, I guess, is the alternative universe, is it? I don't even freaking know. One of you lore experts can let me know. <laughs> Educate me in this game. Here's the doll set. If you guys gonna, if you guys wanna look all pretty up, that's what you can do right there. Oh, Hunter Bone. Okay, I'm gonna show this off once because I probably won't even use this at all later on um, for me in my opinion just some flashy PvP item I honestly can't put this to use for some reason like it makes it dodge it looks like it dodge further and it looks cooler but I think it only lasts for like 30 seconds or a minute I don't know it's let me know what like if you guys use arcane builds let me know what you guys are uh, use that for you guys use it in actual boss fights or you just use it for PvP or just to look cool <laughs> let me know I'm very curious because I tried using it uh, against regular enemies and I guess I'm just like not dealing enough damage or what but it runs out before the enemy even dies so yeah <laughs> I honestly can um I cannot find a, a good use for for the hunter bone. These platforming always scares the shit out of me. 
there is this beast right here. You cannot log on. I'm gonna use the saw blade for um, the backstab because I feel like this with the saw blade it charges up faster rather than um, the nitrous. I mean, I guess I could have started the the swing off with the tenitrous and then switch over like for the second one. But yeah, I don't know. I just feel like it's it's slow when it comes with the with the backstab. Cause it's like you do this whole extra swing, like you charge up your your character charges away all the way. I don't know. Maybe it's the same. <laughs> I need to do a little bit of testing, but from what I did before, it feels like against uh, the kidnappers. I I feel like it's, it's slow. I think Pound said the official name for them is uh, Snatchers. So, yeah. I don't know, I feel like I'm just getting kidnapped. <laughs> so I call them the kidnappers because they bag you over and everything. It's like in the movies, you know. <clears throat> There's gonna be a dog here. Take him out. Oosh. There's another one of those guys over here. The Grim Reaper, Snatcher, Kidnapper dudes. Two villagers here. Let's see if I can uh, do a minute before he hits me. There we go. Oh, the transform state ran out. Oh, we got most most of our health back. Blood vial, thank you very much. Let's go ahead and use it. Why not? Just to top off. And if we run back quick enough. You're scared about like the freaking dog, you know? There we go. Alright, now let's take on... The freaking kidnapping motherfucker right here. And I'm gonna try out this this tr trick right here. I'm gonna use the tenitrous first, just to get that damage in, and then we'll switch over. Gets pissed off. And he's dead. I don't know. It the saw the saw spear honestly feels a lot faster. Let me know what you guys think. Like from what you guys saw, you guys think the ta uh, it's the same. Or the saw spear is faster, because in my opinion, I feel like the saw spear is a lot faster. Here's we got the brain suckers, Squidward. Squidward. Oh no! Yeah, be careful about that little bind, because we're stuck. Oh, we're not stuck anymore. Yeah, when you get caught like that, um, usually if he didn't die, because he freaking died just now, um, usually if they're still alive. And you get caught by their magic attack. But what happens is um they'll grab you and then they'll they'll just suck your brain and you lose one insight from that. And also it does a lot of freaking damage, so what the fuck? It's all sand. Right? So yeah. That's that's the deal about um uh, those squid brain sucking dudes. And that's pretty much it for this little part. Uh, the way to go is up here. Making sure I didn't miss any uh, pickups on the side. Cathedral ward. Actually, we can uh, open up this shortcut real quick. Numbing Mist, this is pretty good for 
our upcoming boss fight, which is going to be Amelia, because she heals. So if you throw this at her, uh, it can prevent them from healing, so that's pretty good. It's also good for PvP, if you're fighting someone who heals a lot. Uh, but in Bloodborne, you can, uh, what you can do is, during PvP, if someone's like spamming heal, you can pretty much just punish them by shooting them. You shoot them, and then you can land a critical that way. So they heal nothing. Where's my pebble? Get his attention. <laughs> He's over there. Yeah, I am. Wait, what? This guy can't climb ladders. What are you doing? I look, my blood stain's still there. From uh, where the freaking kidnapper guy killed us. Is he really not coming down? Come on. Wait, what? The guy just ate my blood echo. Or my blood stain. Nope. Piss off with that. Yeah, if you can get a. What do you call it? A parry. Insta kill. Or visceral attack, my bad. Blood echo retrieved. And there is. That guy there. Shall we mess with him? Let's mess with him. He's probably gonna do the jump since he's walking on menacing. Or not. I'm gonna punch. There we go. He's probably gonna try to buff up. Yeah, usually when you do like enough damage, I think it's like 50% HP. It'll piss them off, and then they'll they'll try to buff up and then go insane on your ass. But if you know what you're doing, you can run around them and just capitalize, you know. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Oh shit! Oh shit! Hold on, give me my health back. Wait, what? No, what the fuck happened? What happened? What happened? I tried dashing in <laughs> for a visceral attack and it didn't work. I don't know what happened to my character. It looked like she did a... I don't know. I honestly can't tell you what the fuck happened there. But since we lit this lamp earlier, <laughs> that's the lamp that we went back to. And I guess this is a good opportunity to show you guys um, the Radiant Hunter badge. Uh, son of a bitch. So we have this now. It's uh, pretty good for strength builds, I think. I think a lot of strength builds run this. So this is what it looks like. Uh, in the DLC version, you can actually get the version that has, like, you, you can shoot on magic. Or arcane, my bad. So that's what I'm gonna save for. I'm gonna just keep the Tenitris and then saw blade for stuff that we need to use fire paper on other than that i think we're we'll be fine you can buy fire paper with insight if you want let's get a few of these we're good uh let's see that's fine. Go back to the Uden Chapel. And 
I think I'm just gonna take out those guys that <laughs> that were there. Um, the church dudes and maybe uh, I guess I can I can take out the freaking what's that guy's called the kidnapper dudes. I'm just calling them the kidnapper dudes because uh, <laughs> I guess that's, oh my god, they look like kidnappers, man. They bag you and everything. Okay, my my soul is up there or not soul? My blood echo is up there, so. Gotta remember that. Just gonna do the jump. Go behind him. Eat it. He's stuck? Nope. Okay. Another uh, way to get around them quickly. It's when they do that little. I don't know what, what it is, that little AoE attack. Or is it, I don't even know if it's really attack because it doesn't do anything other than it staggers you. So when they do that, is where, uh, when you can, uh, kind of run around behind them. Oh look, my blood echoes right here, the guy didn't take it. Interesting. Come on, jerk. Don't do that weird shit again. Okay. That was weird. Uh, it looked like I just like ran through the dude. Try one more tap. Round two. Come on. Oh, you fucker. Come on. There we go. Health back. Oh, we got some of it. A little quick swipe. Really killed me like that. Can't believe this crap. <laughs> just gonna like freaking smack its body just just for that, you know. Kind of bullshit kill. Anyways, uh, what the hell do we just pick up? All right, the shield. It's on the offhand. This is really like garbage right here. I think this is intended to like poke fun of um, Dark Souls players because a lot of players like when you start off Dark Souls you just kind of hide behind the shield. I did that. I won't lie. <laughs> I was wussing out behind the shield when I first started, and then like after playing Bloodborne, you know, you just learn to be more like dodgy, and then just taking your opportunity to hit instead of just cowering behind the shields. So yeah. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this episode. Hopefully this video has been entertaining or helpful or enjoyable. And if you all found at least one of those qualities in this video, then eight, stay tuned for more. Because um, in the next episode, we'll be clearing up the Cathedral War, like the whole entire Cathedral War. The big ass area, the side area that we didn't explore earlier on. And yeah, once we wrap that up, we'll be taking on Amelia. So, yeah, until then, I'll catch y'all later. Ohms. Oh.